Can this be solved using integration by parts? I am stuck on this item. The answer is yes, and let me show you how. Usually, when you see the integral of x to the third power over square root of 1 minus x squared, you use tricks up. You can say that x equal to sine theta, but that's not what we are doing here today. Integration by parts is the request. So, remember the idea of using integration by parts. We look at this integral, and we want to pick one part to be differentiated and the other part to be integrated. And then right here, we have that plus minus. This is exactly the same setup as the UDV setup. Because you say you pick U to be differentiated, and then you pick DV to be integrated. When you differentiate the U, you get DU. When you integrate the V, you get V. Have a look. This times this is the first part of the answer. So you get U, V. And then you put this right here inside of the integral. And that's a negative, right? That's the minus. So you have the minus integral v du. And guess what? Originally, you have this integral. The original integral of u dv, that's equal to uv minus the integral v du. Same thing as integration by parts. It's just a much better set up. So now, we had to think about which part from here that we want to integrate. And here's the deal. The trouble of this integral is that we have x to the third power. Imagine if we have something else on the top, then it would be so much easier. Let me explain right here. If you take a look at the integral of something over square root of 1 minus x squared, well, ideally, we want to just use u sub to take care of these kind of things, right? And usually, we just put u to be the inside, so u equals 1 minus x squared. Differentiating both sides, du equals the derivative right here is negative 2x dx. So from here, this suggests us that we should have an x to the first power on the top because we have x to the first power right here. So in fact, if we have x to the first power, we can just finish that with u sub. In fact, I've done a similar video on this kind of things. What do we wish to have on the top? It's a very fun video. Go ahead and check that out. The link will be in the description for you. But anyway though, right here, I'm actually going to pick this part right here to be integrated. Let me write that down. x over square root of 1 minus x squared. So what do we differentiate though? Well, originally we have x to the third power. Here is only x to the first. So we differentiate x to the second, right? Because remember, this times that should give us back the original integral. Now, if we differentiate x squared, we just get 2x. Nice. Integrating this, we would about to finish it. So let's finish that. Divide the negative 2x on both sides. We get dx equals du over negative 2x. And that will give us this integral in the x. In the, this integral from the x world to the u world becomes the integral x on the top over square root. The inside is the u. dx is that. So du over negative 2x. And you see, this x and that x cancel each other. Works so nicely. So this becomes integrating. We have a 1 over negative 2. So let's put that to the front. And then we have 1 over square root of u. Let's write that in the power form. u to the negative 1 half power and then we are in the u-world. To finish this, go ahead and use the reverse power rule, add 1 to the power, and we get positive 1 half. Divided by the new power, it's the same as multiplied by its reciprocal, which is multiplied by 2 over 1. Have a look. 1 half, 2 over 1, reduces to 1, and we have this negative right here, right? negative right here. So we get negative, and then we have u to the 1 half power, and you can put on plus c right here, but no, because this is just a small integral that we are trying to do. So don't worry about the plus c. And you can write this as negative square root, and then the u right here is that, 1 minus x squared. So after we integrate this, we get that, negative square root of 1 minus x squared. So that being said, go ahead, multiply this and that. 
right? It's the UV part from the traditional UDP setup. That will be the first part of the answer. We will have a negative x squared times that. So x squared times the square root of 1 minus x squared. Then we are going to multiply this and that and put that inside of an integral, right? And then just multiply the signs carefully. Negative times the negative, we have to add. We will have to add the next integral and then put them inside. We have 2x square root of 1 minus x squared dx, just like that. Now, this is the last integral we have to do. Can we do it? Yes. How? U sub. U sub is enough, okay? But since I use U right here, even though it's going to be the same thing, but I'm going to pick another letter, let's say W. Pick W to be the inside, 1 minus x squared. It's the same thing, so go ahead. dw equals negative 2x dx. Divide this on both sides. We get dx equals dw over negative 2x. Put this to the w world. We have the integral 2x square root of w, and then dx is dw over negative 2x. It just works so nicely x and x cancel, moreover, 2 and 2 reduces. We have a negative, so make sure we have the negative on the outside here. And then we have to integrate w to the 1 half power in the w world. Add 1 to the power, we get 3 over 2. Divided by the new power, we have 2 over 3. So ladies and gentlemen, right here we have this. So just bring that down. We have negative x squared times the square root of 1 minus x squared. And then right here, we have a negative result. So it's a minus and we have 2 over 3. We have w to the 3 over 2 power, but the over 2 power can be written in terms of square root. And the reason I want to do that is because I use square root here. So just maintain the same notation. Unless if you want to put this to the 1 half power, that's fine too. But anyway though, open that square root, and then we have w, which is that. We have the 1 minus x squared inside. And then remember, we still have that third power. Put the third power inside here, looks better. If you put it on the outside, that's fine too. Anyway, we're all done though. So finally, put on the plus c. And this is how you integrate that integral with integration by parts.